In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit more about shorthand notation for electron configurations. <clears throat> so remember that this is really just a way to save time when writing electron configurations. And we use the noble gases kind of as placeholders. So helium has an electron configuration of 1s2. So it's safe to say that, well, all of these guys, and really all the elements after helium, are going to have 1s2 as part of their electron configuration, right? Not hydrogen, but everything after helium will. So it's kind of redundant to write it each time. So for lithium, it's really 1s2, 2s1. The other way you could say that's like, well, it's got the electron configuration of helium and a 2s1. And beryllium has the electron configuration of helium plus 2s2. And in this case, helium is just representing 1s2. Not very exciting. If we go to neon, okay, neon represents 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. That saves us quite a bit of writing. So if I want to say sulfur, sulfur has 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, but all of this we can just call neon, right? This would be the electron configuration of neon plus 3s2, 3p4. Not so bad. Neon plus 3s2, 3p4. If we go to argon, Argon has 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. So now this is saving us a lot of time writing. So if I want to write bromine, bromine is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. Okay, that was all argon plus 4s2, 3d10, 4p5. Okay, so this is really just a shorthand, a way for you to, instead of having to write all of these guys down here, you could just write argon in little brackets. And that just means the electron configuration of argon plus whatever I'm about to write. And again, if you get to like iodine, well, yeah, there's no way you want to write 4s2, 3d10, 4p6. But if you write krypton plus 5s2, 4d10, 5p5, that's really not so bad. So you can take another look at my examples here. If you need to pause and check them out, you definitely go ahead and do so. All I did here was I, I wrote the name of the noble gas in brackets like that. And that's just saying the electron configuration of neon plus 3SG3P3. That would be phosphorus. And it just saves us time. And you can kind of see how much shorter these are to write. The other thing this illustrates is how the electron configuration of an element can be written in a way that compares it to the noble gases. And this becomes important because noble gases, remember, are, have an extremely stable electron configuration. And it's really the electrons that are super important when it comes to bonding or other chemical reactions. So the noble gases don't form bonds with other things. Not, they don't, it's, it's kind of hard to make them do so. And that's because the electrons are already really stable. So, to, so they kind of have no real need to do anything else. They're kind of already in their most stable state. But if we look at something like Sodium, sodium has the electron configuration of neon plus one extra 3s1 electron. So if by chance or for whatever circumstance we removed that 3s1 electron from sodium, it would now have this ultra stable electron configuration, right? And then once it, once it got there, it wouldn't really change. It's already kind of in its most stable state. And if we look at bromine, it's argon 4s2, 3d10, 4p5. So one way to think about it is, okay, if we removed all of these electrons, all 17 of these electrons, it would be like argon. Okay, removing that many electrons might become a hassle. Because remember, once you remove this electron from sodium, sodium becomes plus one in charge. It's now an ion, right? And an ion means that it now has a charge. It has a different number of protons and electrons. So to remove this electron from sodium would be plus one because now it has one more proton than it does electrons. If I removed 17 electrons from bromine, I would have a plus 17 charge. Remember that the plus and the minus attract. It would be really hard to be ripping electrons off of something that's already got kind of an excess of protons. But what if we added one electron on? Then it would be 4s2, 3d9, 4p6. And I'll remind you that is krypton, which has this super stable electron configuration. And once it got there, which would be bromine minus one, it wouldn't change. 